Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 43. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how current underscore user special register is not always pointing to the current user. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. The problem scenario is current underscore user special register is not always displaying the current user value. So when I mean here current user, it's more in a literal sense. So a database user can execute an SQL query or can execute a package or execute a stored procedure. So when we mean current user, we mean only the person who is executing stuff in uh, inside the DB2, right? So uh, what happens in a specific scenario, like when static SQLs are coded inside a package or SQL stored procedure, the current user special register variable is not set to the routine executor or invoker. Uh, instead, it is set to the package owner or binder or uh, routine definer or routine owner. So uh, what is the solution for this? So if inside a, a package or stored procedure, when using static SQLs, I want to find out who is the one who is invoking it, not the who is the one who is owning it or binding it, right? So in that case, we have to use another special register, session underscore user or user for displaying the actual current user. Now the current underscore user special register behaves differently for dynamic SQL. So the scenario that I'm talking here is about static SQL. Okay, let's go and quickly look at into examples so that it will be somewhat clear for us. So here actually I have uh, connected to uh, database uh, with user db2 inst1 using db2 inst1 who will be the instance owner. I'm dropping the procedure. I'm creating a table. The table contains of two columns cur underscore user and session underscore user. And I'm inserting into the table. Uh, see how I'm, the values I'm using is current underscore user and session underscore user. So that is the... Um, uh, the special register variable okay and uh, then I am selecting the value from the table okay so let me just quickly execute this okay so it is connecting to the database it is dropping the procedure it's dropping the table it's creating the table it has inserted a particular uh, record so now you can see the current user and session user both are same db2 inst1 only see because it is an insert query and current user and session user uh, register uh, special register values point to the same thing okay so they, there is no conflict here since it's a dynamic sql right now okay now i'm going to create a procedure okay so let me just run that so i'm creating a procedure the procedure is my proc it is a very simple procedure it is also having the same insert query which you saw like uh, the previous one right insert into db dynasty one t underscore tab values of current user session user the same query but it is the only difference is it is inside a stored procedure okay now let's see what happens okay so I'll call the procedure and I am going to select the values. Okay. So the same thing I'm doing here now. Okay. So now you can see, um, so the invoker of this, uh, my procedure is DB2 INST one only the current user and session user, the both are same only. So we don't find any discrepancies or mismatch here. Okay. So let us do one thing. Let me delete the records. Okay. In that table, I'll grant execute uh, privilege on that procedure to a different user Ubuntu. So the procedure creator is the uh, DB2 INST one, whereas I am delegating the execute access to user Ubuntu. Now, again, after that, I am granting select and insert privileges and I'm connect reset. Okay. So let me just quickly uh, run this also okay done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to the database using a different user ubuntu user okay and i'm displaying the values and after that i'm inserting a record and i'm again displaying the values so let me just quickly run this okay so you can see that i have connected to the database as ubuntu user so initially the table is blank uh, now i'm again inserting records current user and session user so look at this the current user and session user both are ubuntu which is as expected because in insert uh, query this is a dynamic sql query so there is no conflict that we are facing uh, as of now okay so let me just go and call the procedure see now when i call the procedure and display the uh, records right uh, which are there in the table uh, t underscore tab so then you will find that it is behaving differently see now here the current user is db2 inst1 and the session user is Ubuntu. This is the, the earlier record was Ubuntu Ubuntu. Now the second record, the new record which got inserted because of this calling of the stored procedure is DB2 INST1 and Ubuntu. So the current user is not pointing to the invoker. 
because this particular procedure was invoked by user Ubuntu. So you can see that I have uh, connected to the database with user SQL authorization ID Ubuntu, right? And I'm executing this stuff. So when I call the procedure under the user Ubuntu, who has the execute access on that stored procedure, the current user register variable is pointing to db2 inst1, whereas the session user is the one pointing to the invoker. So this is the fundamental difference, the current underscore user uh, behaves when compared with the static SQL and dynamic SQL. Okay, so if you want to know the invoker, you have to use session user. So that is the uh, uh, learning from this tutorial. I hope it was useful to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel DB2 LUW Academy. Uh, see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks. Bye bye.